Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making pork chops. Of course, you will need first of all boneless chops. I got mine in Walmart. Then you will need some soy sauce, lemon juice, brown sugar, sweet uh, style chili sauce, and steak seasoning. So first, I'm taking two tablespoons of brown sugar. Mix it in a bowl. Then you will need one tablespoon soy sauce. Mix it in the brown sugar, mix it well together. Then Thai style uh, chili sauce, um, sweet chili sauce, two tablespoons actually one sp uh, one tablespoon but you can use two then one spoon of lemon juice and mix it all together and then i use some uh, steak seasonings over here so add your favorite seasoning or add some pepper and salt if you don't have steak seasoning and mix it all together very good um then you will uh Put the pork chops after you wash them. I always wash my meat in the bowl like this, and then you put the the sauce that you just made all over the pork chops. And don't forget to 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 put the mixture on both sides of the pork chops. Okay. And make some holes with like a knife or like a fork so the sauce can can go inside of the pork chops or let it sit in the sauce for like a half hour that's what I recommend or even overnight it's better so the meat is gonna get the, get marinated well get the sauce well inside of it if it makes sense what I'm saying yeah poke uh, poke the holes on both sides and then keep do uh, keep uh, layering the sauce on top of it you can uh, as well use barbecue sauce if you don't want to do this one that I'm doing but this one I highly recommend is very nice and yummy so there you go guys i waited like half hour and now i'm putting my pork chops in the air fryer for fit perfectly make sure they are uh, apart very well from each other so uh, they gonna co be cooked well from all the sides equally don't put them too close to each other and you can pour the rest of the sauce on top of it and then you will cook them for 370 Fahrenheit in the air fryer for 15 minutes and after the 15 minutes are done um, you flip them over and then you you um you will cook them another eight minutes that's what i have done and they are well cooked as you can see here they are ready to eat and they were delicious you guys so yeah this is this is all you have to do um yeah it's a perfect meal thank you guys so much for watching i highly recommend these and they were delicious not too salty not too sweet just perfect and yeah thank you so much guys for watching let me know what you would like to um, see next and don't forget to subscribe like and comment on my channel and follow me on instagram thank you so much guys bye